Sunday, August 27th, 2023, morning edition. Please pardon any visual and informational inaccuracies in this entirely AI-generated video. Good morning, dear viewers. I am your news anchor, Xander Voxius III. Thank you for tuning in to the future of news. AGNDD and Report. As always, I will be assisted by my valued AI-generated colleagues in summarizing the news. Without further ado, headlines of the day. Rally attempt continues. Seven stocks to watch. Tim McGraw shares romantic date night secrets. Google releases Android 14 beta with bug fixes. CEO Vishal Garg witnesses spectacular stock crash. Alarm raised about West Nile after 11th death. Bryce Young impresses in preseason, ready for opener. Simone Biles leads after first day of competition, and more. But first, this day in history. August 27th in history. August 27th, 410. The sacking of Rome by the Visigoths ends after three days. August 27th, 1557. The Battle of St. Quentin results in Emmanuel Philibert becoming Duke of Savoy. Today's obituaries. Svetlana Adirkaeva. Brief Wikipedia summary. Svetlana Adirkaeva, an 85-year-old Russian ballerina, has passed away. She was a renowned dancer, receiving the title of People's Artist of the USSR in 1984. Andrzej Prisigs. Brief Wikipedia summary. Andrzej Prysiks, a Polish stage actor, was born on August 22, 1949, in Warsaw. He had a successful career in theatre, film and voice acting, as well as directing dubbing. In addition to his artistic pursuits, he also served as a local councillor and member of the local authorities' division of the Civic Platform Party. Famous people born on this day. August 27, 1977. Justin Miller, American baseball player, died 2013. Joel Grant. Here is a recap of their Wikipedia page. The article provides information about Joel Grant, an English Jamaican footballer born on August 27, 1987. It details his club career, including his time at Watford, Aldershot Town, Crew Alexandra, Wickham Wanderers, Yeovil Town, Exeter City, Plymouth Argyle, Swindon Town, and Grimsby Town. It also mentions his international career with Jamaica. And now on to today's news. General news. Luis Rubiales. Spain's Football Federation threatens legal action against Women's World Cup winner Jennifer Hermoso, CNN. Spain's Football Federation has threatened legal action against star player Jennifer Hermoso, accusing her of lying about an unwanted kiss from Federation President Luis Rubiales. Hermoso and nearly 70 other female players have vowed not to play until Rubiales is removed. FIFA has provisionally suspended Rubiales for potentially violating conduct rules. SpaceX launches truly international astronaut team on Crew-7 flight to space station for NASA. Video. Space.com. SpaceX launched its Crew-7 mission consisting of four astronauts from Denmark, Japan, Russia, and the United States to the International Space Station, ISS, on August 26, 2023. The team will carry out science investigations and station maintenance for six months as part of Expeditions 69 and 70. College football schedule, games 2023, what to watch in week zero, TV channels, Saturday kickoff times, CBS Sports. The 2023 college football season has begun, featuring Week Zero games in locations from Ireland to Los Angeles. Key matches include Notre Dame playing Navy in Dublin, USC hosting San Jose State in Los Angeles, and Jacksonville State's first game as an FBS program. Consumers are spending like it's 2019. WSJ, The Wall Street Journal. 
The article discusses how consumer spending habits are shifting from pandemic-induced buying binges to prioritizing experiences over goods due to increasing expenses. Business news. Better CEO Vishal Garg sees stock crash spectacularly. The Daily Beast. Better.com, quote, S-share prices plummeted after the company went public, with shares trading at a 90% discount by Friday. The mortgage lender has been struggling with declining business due to skyrocketing mortgage rates and a slower housing market. CEO Vishal Garg's controversial behavior towards staff and potential legal issues have also affected the company's performance. Rally attempt fights on what to do now, seven stocks to watch. Investors Business Daily. JP Morgan thinks Bitcoin market bottom is near crypto briefing. JP Morgan analysts predict limited downside for crypto markets in the near term, despite recent turbulence caused by SpaceX's Bitcoin sell off and China's real estate crisis. They note that long position liquidations are mostly over, and the broader outlook for Bitcoin remains optimistic. Technology news. Google releases yet another Android 14 beta with even more bug fixes. News, gsmarina.com. Google has released Android 14 beta 5.2, the latest bug fixing update for devices enrolled in the Android beta program. The update addresses various issues including stalling during rebooting, cellular connectivity interruptions, and problems with the fingerprint sensor on Pixel Fold and Pixel Tablet devices. AMD's FSR3 has featured previously only on NVIDIA's priciest GPUs, GameSpot. AMD has announced Fidelity FX Super Resolution, FSR3, their own frame generation tool. Unlike NVIDIA's DLSS3, FSR3 doesn't require specific hardware and works through software. It is more effective for games running well, boosting frame rates for high refresh rate displays. The first games to feature FSR3 will be Forspoken and Immortals of Avium. GTA 6, hacker, was a teenager on bail in a hotel room using an Amazon Fire Stick GameSpot. An 18-year-old from Oxford, identified as a member of international cybercrime group Lapsus Dollar, was implicated in major hacks targeting tech corporations like Rockstar Games, Uber, and NVIDIA. The group's activities, which involved blackmail and ransom demands, significantly impacted the companies, particularly Take-Two Interactive. The court is determining the teenager's culpability. Sports News Simone Biles ends the first day of competition at the U.S. Gymnastics Championships with the lead. CNN. Four-time Olympic gold medalist Simone Biles leads the U.S. Gymnastics Championships after the opening day of competition. Biles is aiming for a record eighth U.S. title, which would make her the only gymnast, male or female, to achieve this feat. Panthers' Bryce Young Sharp in preseason finale says he's ready for opener. ESPN. Carolina Panthers rookie quarterback Bryce Young, who recently played a strong game in the preseason finale against the Detroit Lions, has stated he's ready for the season opener. However, Young admitted he needs to improve his sliding skills, an area his teammates have jokingly teased him about. Health news. Health officials, researchers sound alarm about West Nile after 11th death. Denver 7, Colorado News. A 71-year-old's death from West Nile virus in Denver, the 11th in Colorado this month, has raised concerns about the disease's prevalence. Experts recommend vigilance in recognizing common symptoms and seeking early treatment, especially for those over 60 or with weakened immune systems. They also advise wearing insect repellent with DEET and avoiding outdoor activity at dusk and dawn. Seven-year-old girl dies from brain swelling disease that kills 30% of suffer after being bitten by mosquito. Daily Mail. A seven-year-old girl in Alabama has died from Eastern Equine Encephalitis, EEE, a rare mosquito-borne virus that can cause severe brain swelling. This marks the first death linked to the virus in Alabama this year, with another case detected in Spanish Fort. 
There are no vaccines or cures for EEE, which kills about 30% of infected humans. Entertainment news. Ahsoka and credits song available on Spotify. First wave of critic reviews are strong, though audiences seem to enjoy it more. Star Wars Newsnet. The Ahsoka series premiered with positive reception, with 71.5% of polled viewers expressing enjoyment of the first two episodes. The music, composed by Kevin Kiner, has been a highlight, including the end credits song now available on Spotify. Despite some mixed reviews, the series maintains an 88% approval rating on Rotten Tomatoes. Tim McGraw says date nights with Faith Hill involve lots of candles and 80s music exclusive people. Country stars. Tim McGraw and Faith Hill are enjoying their empty nest by having frequent date nights. McGraw, who has a new album, Standing Room Only, and a tour starting next March, enjoys watching sunsets and doing DIY planning projects at home. Amid Bethany Frankel fight, Bravo clarifies claim that reality stars are being silenced by NDAs, exclusive, variety. Bravo and NBC Universal have clarified that their non-disclosure agreements, NDAs, do not silence reality TV stars from discussing potential mistreatment. This comes in response to former Real Housewives star Bethany Frankel's campaign for better working conditions and rights for reality TV stars. Lawyers working with Frankel have accused NBC Universal of using NDAs to prevent stars and crew from discussing alleged abuse and have threatened legal action. A poem about today's entertainment news in the style of William Shakespeare. Upon the stage of stars in war enshrouded, Ahsoka's tune by every ear avowed. In Spotify's vast musical array, the credit song doth hold its merry sway. The critics speak in measures sure and strong, yet in the hearts of audience it throngs, a tale of love, of candles burning bright, of faith and Tim in star-crossed lover's night. The melodies of yesteryears they play, in soft refrain, the tunes of old replay. From whispers of the eighties, love is spun. Their date nights beneath the setting sun. A drama of reality unfolds. Bravo stands against claims and overholds. For stars are silenced, whispers in the breeze, bound by the chains of NDA's decrees. Yet in truth's light, the network takes its stand. In Frankel's fight, the truth at her command. Now a couple of dad jokes for you. Dermatologists are always in a hurry. They spend all day making rash decisions. Why don't sharks eat clowns? And because they taste funny. Why did Mozart kill all his chickens? Because when he asked them who the best composer was, they'd all say, Bach, Bach, Bach. Hope you enjoyed today's AI generated news digest daily AGNDD and tele report. Like, subscribe, and click the bell button to get notified during new uploads. And make sure to tune in next time to the future of news. Stay safe and healthy. Cheers.